Shabbat Shalom, little Hebrews, and Boker Tob. This Shabbat, we are going back to school and going back to Shabbat school. So we are going to go back to the beginning. In the beginning, in Genesis 1, 1 through 31, and Genesis 2, 1 through 3, we're going to be looking at the story in the beginning. Now, little Hebrews, have you ever looked out the window at night at the beautiful stars in the sky? Have you ever wondered where all those stars came from? Have you wondered if they had been there all the time, forever and ever? Have you ever wondered why the moon is always so bright at night and why the sun shines so bright in the day? Well, let's take a look at what the scriptures say about these things from the beginning. Little Hebrews, once there was no stars, no moon, no sun, not even an earth. There was not even a twinkle of light. All was dark, so dark you could almost feel it, except there was nothing to feel either because nothing was out there. All was empty space, so empty that there was not one thing that could bump into another thing. So empty that not even one sound could be heard, not even a whisper because no one was out there except Yah. And that's when it all began, a long, long time ago. Well, the scriptures tell us in Bereshith 1, 1 through 2, that in the beginning, Yah created the heavens and the earth, and the earth came to be formless and empty, and darkness was on the face of the deep. And the Ruach of Yah was moving on the face of the waters. The little Hebrew scientists try to tell us that there might have been an explosion out in space. They want us to believe that there was a big explosion, a big bang out there in space that created the earth and all things in space. But we just read in scripture that in the beginning, Yah created the heavens and the earth. Let's see how he did it. The first sound that was ever heard was when Yah opened his mouth and on that first day he said, Let light come to be. And light came to be. Yah saw how good it was. Then Yah separated the light from the darkness and he called the light day and the darkness he called night. And little Hebrews, there came to be the evening, and there came to be morning the first day. So little Hebrews, from the evening to the morning was the first day. Now, it is making sense to us why we begin our Shabbat at sunset on Friday evening, and all day Saturday until the sun sets again. The evening and the morning the first day. But Yah wasn't finished yet, and Yah said in verses 6 and 7, Let an expanse come to be in the midst of the waters, and let it separate the waters from the waters. And Yah made the expanse and separated the waters from which were under the expanse from the waters which were above the expanse, and it came to be so. Little Hebrews, we are talking about the sky being formed and the water being separated from the sky. Yah spoke and set it into place, a beautiful, beautiful sky separated from the oceans. There was day and there was night, the second day. And now there was a beautiful sky. And still Yah wasn't done. Do you know how come? Because everywhere you looked, there was nothing but water. 
The day and the night and the sky and the water were so beautiful. So on the third day, the scriptures say that Yah said, Let the waters under the heavens be gathered together in one place, and let the dry land appear. And it came to be so. Can you just hear Yah saying to the oceans, You stay over there. And to the rivers, You belong over there. And they listened and did what Yah told them. They obeyed him, little Hebrews. Can you imagine what would happen if they didn't obey him? Well, there would be utter chaos. Things would be floating when we didn't expect them to. And whenever we turned our backs, we would be run over by a wave of water. I'm so glad they listened to Yah, aren't you? And Yah named the dry land earth, little Hebrews. And the water he called seas. And Yah saw that it was good. And so now we had a beautiful blue sky, and there were oceans and rivers and lakes. And Yah saw how good the third day was. It must have made him very happy, but he was not finished. Little Hebrews, Yah then made the grass and the plants and the fruit trees with seeds inside them that could grow more plants and more fruit trees. Most plants grow up like apples and pears and corn and broccoli. Other plants grow down, little Hebrews. Did you know that potatoes and turnips and carrots grow down into the ground? Isn't that cool? And some plants grow sideways, I bet you didn't know that, like cucumbers and watermelons and squash. And Yah was very pleased with all he did on that third day. So now there was day and there was night. And there was a beautiful blue sky and there were oceans and rivers and lakes. And there were grass and plants and trees. But still, Yah wasn't finished. There was yet more work that Yah would do. So on the fourth day, Yah said, Let there be lights in the sky to separate the day from the night, and for winter, spring, summer, and fall, for, and for days and years. And you know what? That's exactly what happened, just like Yah said. Yah made two really big lights. The larger one to rule the day we call the sun. He made to shine in the day, and a smaller one to rule at night, we call the moon. He made the moon to shine at night. He also made the stars and put them exactly where he wanted them. Yah put all these beautiful lights in the sky to give light to the earth. The sun gives light to the earth during the day, and the moon and stars, well, they give light to the earth during the night and Yah saw that it was good so now there was day and there was night and there was a beautiful blue sky and there were oceans and rivers and lakes and there were grass and plants and trees and there were the Sun and there was the moon and stars next time you see a star twinkling in the night stop and think about this Yah put a twinkle in the dark so we would remember how very important it is to obey him little Hebrews everything obeys him even the stars well next Yah said let the water be filled with many living creatures and let the birds fly above the earth on the face of the expanse of the heavens and Yah created the great sea creatures and every living being that moves, that fill the waters, every kind that you can think of, and every kind of winged birds. And Yah saw that it was good. Let's see if we can name some of the sea creatures, big and small. How about whales 
and sharks and sea bass and red snappers and dolphins and eels and seals and salmon and I like salmon and stingrays we could go on and on what about the winged birds how about the the owls and the sparrows and the hawks and the doves and robins and blue jays and crows there are so many and Yah created them all now after Yah created the sea creatures and the winged birds he blessed them little Hebrews and told them to increase on the earth in other words he told them to go and have lots of babies just like themselves and there was evening and morning the fifth day and Yah said let the earth bring forth the living being according to its kind livestock like cattle and sheep and goats and creeping creatures like worms and snails and bugs and ants and beasts of the earth like water buffalo and lions and bears according to its kind and it was as Yah spoke and Yah saw it was good and you know what Yah did next little Hebrews Yah said let us make man in our image in our likeness and man will rule over everything the fish the birds the livestock and all the earth including the creeping creatures on the ground and Yah created man male and female he created them in his image he created them and blessed them and said to them be fruitful and increase and fill the earth and rule over it all so little Hebrews what is the image of Yah Yah's image is goodness love kindness joy shalom faithfulness gentleness patience and self-control and I bet you Pazia and Batshua could sing that one for us remember little Hebrews Yah is a spirit he's not like flesh like we are and Spirit is not a body like ours. So Yah made us in his image and we must show those around us that we are made in Yah's image by staying kind, having joy and shalom, being faithful, stay gentle and patient and keep our self-control. Let's look at a couple of these, okay? Let's see how we can show the world that we are truly made in the image of Yah let's look at kindness and self-control do we show kindness by being friendly or do we show kindness by being unfriendly let's say a little Hebrew came up to you and said Shalom you wanna play you wouldn't say to the little Hebrew get away from me no you would say yes I want to play and you would be very kind in little Hebrews you show self-control by not acting wild and crazy let's say your Ema says to you go pick up your toys you would not poke out your lip you would not stomp your feet and start screaming no way you would show excellent self-control and obedience and say Cain Ima and go and pick up your toys that's what Yah wants us to do and that's how Yah wants us to be little Hebrews in his image so Yah said see I have given you every plant that yields seed which is in which is on the face of all the earth and every tree whose fruit gives seed to you it is food and to every beast of the earth and every bird of the heavens and to every creeping creature on the earth in which in which there is a living being every green plant 
is for food. And so it was, as Yah said. Isn't that beautiful, little Hebrews? Yah thought of it all. Food for the every beast, every creeping creature, every bird, every uh, animal that was in the ocean, everything. He made sure he had given them food to eat. And Yah saw, saw that all he had made sky and rivers and lakes and grass and plants and trees and sun and moon and stars and heaven and earth and sea creatures and oceans and birds and livestock stocks and beasts and creeping things and man and see it was very good and there came to be the evening and the morning the sixth day and now that the heavens and earth were completed and all in order and in the seventh day Yah completed his work and he rested little Hebrews on the seventh day from all of his work Yah blessed the seventh day and he set it apart little Hebrews would you do me a favor and type on the screen the name of the seventh day. May Yah bless your Shabbat. Shabbat Shalom.